Today I'm making chili beans and I'm using the no-soak method. This video is a response to the Jar It Up January collaboration. Now the channels that are doing the collaboration are Sutton's Days, More to Life, The Pantry Loving Prepper, Wilhelm's Kitchen, Paul's Rule of Thumb, Angie's Pantry, and The Needy Homesteader. Here are my ingredients and some of the supplies I'm gonna be using to make my chili beans. I have my kidney beans here. I have two pint and a half size jars of Mrs. Wages salsa that I canned. I have cumin, chili powder, garlic powder, and I also have pink salt. With regards to the salsa, I use that as an ingredient in my chili beans. It works for me and you don't have to use Mrs. Wages salsa. You can use any salsa. You don't have to use salsa at all. In fact, it's not an essential ingredient for chili beans. I have my jars. I am using a combination of Bernardin Ball and Golden Harvest, regular mouth pint size jars. I have my lid and ring band lifter. And a debubbler, even if it's mangled like this one. I have vinegar. I have paper towel so I can wipe the rims with the vinegar. I have my set here of measuring spoons and my jar lifter. Let's go see what I have ready on the stove top. I have my lids and ring bands in this pan here and this is in previously boiled water. I'm using the Bernardin lids that I purchased at the dollar store, at Dollarama specifically. Now it does say $2. However, I got my lids for $1.50. And if I recall correctly, they used to be $1.50. I have my 23 quart Presto pressure canner with water in there that is warming up. I have the element on low and I have my lid there for my Presto pressure canner. I've done my safety checks. This is the no soak method. I am not soaking my beans. Now I would encourage you to do your research because the powers that be say you should soak your beans. The no soak method works for me and really it's the only method that I want to use. Okay. So in each jar, I'm going to put a fourth a teaspoon of salt. You can use more or less, whatever suits you. This is just for flavor. I'm now going to add my garlic powder and to each jar I'm going to add a fourth a teaspoon of that. Again, these seasonings are really to your taste. You don't have to use a fourth a teaspoon, maybe you want to use a half a teaspoon. It's entirely up to you. Now for the chili powder. I am using a half a teaspoon of chili powder in each jar. I would say a heaping half a teaspoon for the cumin. I'm gonna have to be really careful how I wipe these rims.
Here's the salsa. Let's put that in the jars. Now as for the salsa, I'm just putting a heaping spoonful in. It's just a regular spoon. It's uh, not a measuring spoon, just your everyday soup spoon, I guess. There. I'm trying to be equitable. So let's get the water in the jars. I've moved a lot of them just so it's easier on the eyes. There. See that? <laughs> That's really going to have to come off. Going to have to do a really good job when I wipe the rims. There we go. There. finger tight, and I'm going to place this in the pot. I'll bring you back when the pot is filled up. The jars are in the pot. Let's get the lid on. I'm going to turn the pot up, and I will bring you back when it's venting a steady stream. So we're venting a steady stream here and I'm now going to place my timer on for 10 minutes. pot has been venting for 10 minutes. I'm now going to put the pressure regulator on. And I'll bring you back when the gauge reaches 11 pounds pressure. The gauge has now reached 11 pounds pressure. I'm going to put the timer on and process these for 75 minutes. So it's time to open up the pot. Let's take off the pressure regulator open it up. I'm going to hold the lid away from me so I don't get a steam bath. Let's take the jars out now. I'll bring you back when all of the jars are out of the pot. In all, I got 19 jars. I didn't use vinegar this time around. As you hear, they are sealing. I like that sound, by the way. I will have to give these a good wash. I use chili beans a lot in my household. And, you know, it was time to stock up. Now, with regards to the Jar It Up January collaboration, please check out the channels in the information below. They are publishing videos daily in January and there have been some really good videos so far with many to follow. So the jars cleaned up nicely and there is a slight buildup on some of them still, but you know, it's not a big deal. I'm not entering these in a competition. I'm now going to label these jars and I will put them in my pantry. Okay? So, 
you do realize I'm printing neatly because I'm doing this on camera. Okay, if you've ever seen any of my other videos, when I show the date that I canned something, chicken scratch. So I will try my best to be neat. So these are C, B, chili beans, okay? And that was canned in January 2019.